Hello, it is Wednesday. It is July 21st. We are on the eve of our beautiful time of Leo. Let's do an energy check-in for all signs at this time. And let's see what Spirit has for messages. So for Aries, we are going Page of Cups. Be open to love, my friends. Love and communicate in a really soft way today. It will bring more love. It will amplify love in your life. You can go ahead and show off. Somebody will be a great recipient, a great audience for you right now. If you're looking to have fun, get out there, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, my friends, but put something really fun on. Wear something that is big and bold and possibly even red, depending on what your favorite color is, Aries. You have that beautiful Knight of Wands energy. Play, enjoy, and we have just remember equal give and take. It's always a way to balance things out. All right, so Aries, let's go on to Taurus and see what our Taurus friends have for energy for today. Taurus, what's in the energy fields and the ethers? Well, you got equal give and take. It looks like you're gonna break bread or have lunch with somebody that you've known for a very long time. Somebody that you may have gone to school with, somebody you may go to church with, somebody with whom you share a philosophical view of life. You are moving slowly through your chores today. It does look like some of you are caught up in a renovation or a big change that's coming in. <laughs> I look a little silly here because this is upside down. Okay, I can't really see myself. Okay. So there you go. What we have for you, Taurus, is that most of you are stranded or delayed with the devil card in some sort of renovation project or some big change that you're making. The good news is, is that it's the fun button month. We are coming into Leo season. So just relax. You are going to make progress as you need it and your outcome is assured, okay? So nice energy, even though you feel the delay, it's not the end of the world. It's time to have some fun and relax so that your ships can come in over calm waters. Gemini, Gemini, what's the energy for our Gemini friends? Gemini, Gemini, let's see. Four of Wands, you are very much, excuse me, Four of Pentacles, you're really in the mood to save some money. Gemini, good for you. You know, you're enjoying being at home, but you're, I think you're a little bit too sequestered. Time to get out during this Leo season and enjoy life. There we go. Gemini, what was I talking about? Many of you are planning a vacation, a flight, an adventure somewhere. So you're, you are gonna break out of the mold. I like the energy. The Eight of Wands is passionately pursuing that which you want, that which you enjoy. You are watching your funds to give you more money. Gemini, you are manifesting something major in your life right now. The Empress, well, the Empress just finished her long dance and long weekend away with the Emperor card, and here you are in manifesting mode. So the Empress is all about embodying everything about love. It's about attracting to you the love, the money, the abundance, the life that you want. And look at that. It's taking off very soon. So I think many of you will have a new love relationship in, in the near future. All right. So let's see what our Cancerian friends are manifesting at this time. Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Cancer, it has been a beautiful season for you. I hope you've enjoyed the weather. Leave comments below to tell me how it's gone. We have, oh, we have Hierophant again. So marriage is on the mind of many people, as is your belief system. This is beautiful stability. Hierophant energy is all about the energy of holding close to you what you value. You are moving towards a manifestation of this Hierophant card. So if some of you want to 
have a long-term committed relationship, you will soon land that opportunity. The Ten of Swords, though, you're getting over somebody who has hurt you. And look at you standing in your power, looking beautiful. Virgo season is your season coming up. It looks as though you have your headed right there with the Virgo energy. Take care of your daily chores because next month gets very busy. Virgo season will be very busy for your Cancer. All right, let's look and see what we have for our Leo friends for the overall energy for Leo. Let's see what we have here. We have, oh, Leo, you're falling in love. Look at you. The Ace of Cups energy. You are really in the mood. You have somebody in mind. You want to give someone flowers. The Ace of Wands. <laughs> So you're passionately, are you falling in lust or are you falling in love, my Leo friends? Well, it is your season, so leave messages down below. We see this energy that you are leaving behind a time of sadness or challenge, and you are just going to fall more deeply in love than you can imagine during your season. It's beautiful energy. Wipe away whatever tears are from the past and be gone. All right, so let's see what you have for, what we have for Virgos. Virgo, Virgo, what is going on with Virgo? And let's see what the energy is for our Virgo friends. Let's see. Oh, you are fired up. You have a new project or something that you want to accomplish. Um, you're going to set set a blazing trail towards a goal, Virgo. We have the Two of Swords. Do, 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 do. You are pretending to not be up to anything while you plot and plan for this very great energy of manifesting that something that you've been trying to build for a while. Six of Wands, there you go, Leo Energy. You are going to be winner, winner, chicken dinner. You have a victory coming in for something that you have put into play. It does look like for many of you, it will be a creative project, uh, whether it is a garden, a painting, a love affair, a new baby. <laughs> it looks like you are going to be very happy. So the energy around you is one of really being very strategic. For our beautiful Libra friends, Libra, Queen of Pentacles energy, that is a mommy card that's about taking care of business, 9 to 5, Monday through Sunday, doing the right thing. The Five of Cups, for some of you, you are going through a bit of a period of disappointment. Let's see what we have. So there's some double energy. There's energy around you, Libra, of somebody wanting to be in control, being too selfish, it is hurting your feelings. What you're looking for is equal give and take. And we see all oh, the King of Cups will come along and resolve this for you. Because we have this beautiful King of Cups energy. You know, the, the uh, water and earth signs work very well together. So we have the beautiful Queen of Pentacles, the handsome King of Cups. And we have a match made in heaven. And it looks like whatever happens, the two of you will work out whatever issue is standing between the two of you. Someone is about to be very practical, which is a good thing. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio in the house. What do we have for our Scorpio friends? What do we have for Scorpio? <clears throat> Scorpio, Scorpio. What do we have? Oh, look at you, Scorpio. You are dressing beautifully. You probably have just been to a summer sale. You have a beautiful hat. You have a bird. You have a beautiful dress. I love it. Or suit, whatever is the case. Page of Cups, you are just, you know, you're all about just crushing. Somebody has a crush on you now, Scorpio. They're going to come forward and they may be a lot younger. On the other hand, if you have any grandchildren or babies around, oh, they're going to be so sweet. They're, you are going to be the love of their life. All right. The Three of Pentacles, whatever's going on at work is very productive. It looks as though you sign a contract or you, you are going to sign a contract and work with somebody in terms of a big project, a collaboration that's coming up that will be very successful. 
Let's look and see what our beautiful Sagittarius energy is for our Sag friends. What is up for Sagittarius at this time? Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. We have, oh, you're invested. You are invested. It's earth sign energy. It's Taurus energy. You have planted a seed. You're seeing it grow. You're getting excited. You're wondering what's next. The Two of Pentacles says you're thinking about what you're going to do with your investment. When you cash it in, what will you do? Will you invest more? Will you save some of the money? Some of you are juggling two different ideas, but the Page of Swords says that one of those ideas are going to fall by the wayside. One investment is going to be something that you decide to let go. And in doing so, you get the 10 of coins energy. That is a legacy family event. For many of you, you are planning a family trip. This is about legacy. It's what you inherit. It's, it's repeating maybe an ancestral a visit or an ancestral experience with grandchildren, children, uh, but this is all about the extended family, abundance, joy, and happiness. So nice, really nice energy. So let's look and see for our Capricorn friends what is going on with our Capricorns. What are you up to, Cappies? What are you up to? Look at you, the emperor, bossing up on the job, managing everybody beautifully, doing, if you do any strategic work or logistical work, Capricorn, you are going to enjoy the benefits and the profits from that work in the near future. The male emperor card. Okay, so this is all about career for you. You are embodying the very best in terms of feminine and masculine energy in the workplace. Nothing can stop you now and you are coming in with Queen of Wands energy. You may have a great experience with this person. This person may be your sidekick or somebody who helped you in business. It can also be a romantic interest. Somebody very fiery, very passionate, it very beautiful and fun. All work and no play is not any good, Capricorn. You have a playmate here if you want one. All right. So let's look and see what the Aquarius energy is for the day. Aquarius, Aquarius, what do we have coming up for our Aquarius friends? Oh, what do we have for Aquarius? Let's see what we have. All right. Aquarius, you are pretending to ignore something, but you are not ignoring anything. You're very clever. You're looking out underneath that beautiful bird's nest or bird's house that's sitting on your head. And for many of you, you're really looking for a home. I feel as though you want some stability in the place that you live. Some people are saving money for a house or the thought of moving to some place that you like better. You are all about the equal give and take. It looks as though you're having good times with a love interest. And here we go. You have some manifesting energy with the King of Cups, something that you really want, that you really cherish, that you desire. You have built the roads. You have created the abundance. Aquarius, I feel that whatever breakthrough you're trying to have right now, it's going to come along in, by the time Venus enters Virgo very soon. All right. So let's take a look and see for you, Aquarius, what we have. Well, excuse me, for Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. What do we have for our Pisces friends? What is the energy for Pisces? Let's see what we have here. We have Six of Wands, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You might have gotten a promotion. You might have just become engaged. But you have accomplished a huge victory in your life over something that you've been wanting to accomplish for a long time. The King of Wands energy, a new opportunity is coming in. It's very stable. It's beautiful. It's exciting. The Three of Swords energy does say that you will not be happy leaving someone or something behind, but you are moving forward forward in your power into a new phase of your life that is you've been waiting for for a long time. Pisces. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take care, everyone. Sending you love. Bye-bye. Take care.